linearly dependent oblique independent vectors. So in this video we'll discuss about when we have three vectors at the same time. And there's another video where we have discussed about two vectors at a time. So when there are three vectors u, v and w, we, we say that they are linearly dependent if and only if there are scalars a, b and c not all zero such that a u plus b v plus c w equals to zero. So that is the condition for three vectors to be linearly dependent. Now that really means that if you can write this statement that is linear combination of the three vectors is zero that means the three vectors lie in the same plane so they are coplanar. So that is how we have another correlation here that is three linearly dependent vectors are always coplanar right and some of you who have done dot and cross product will realize that we can algebraically find whether the vectors are coplanar or not by scalar triple product that is the vectors are u v and w then cross product of two of them with the dot product of the third if that gives us zero then we say that the vectors are coplanar right and we call this scalar triple product so scalar triple product is always zero for linearly dependent vectors we are talking in context with three linearly dependent vectors correct now three vectors are linearly independent if they are not linearly dependent right so if this combination is not equal to zero then we say that they are independent. If the vectors are not coplanar, then we say that they are linearly independent. Now, what can independent vectors do? Now, three independent vectors, linearly independent vectors, can form bases for R3. They can span any vector in R3. So that is kind of important consideration. Now, here we have a question which says, draw a rectangular prism and write set of three linearly dependent vectors and set of three independent vectors right so i would like you to do this exercise here i'll make a rough sketch and show you so that will actually help you to understand the concept here so i'm just drawing my let me use different colors so that it's easy for me to you know one draw a second to explain right so let's that is our rectangular prism and that is the top surface okay and the side so so we have this rectangular prism now can you name me can you name three linearly dependent vectors when we are saying linearly dependent vectors that means they should be in the same plane that is kind of important right so let me label them as uh, let's say a B C D E F G H right now which do you think could be could form linearly dependent vectors when we are saying linearly dependent they have to be in the same plane for example the top surface right all the vectors in this form a set of linearly dependent so you can name any three of them so here we could say a b b c a d d c even a c because it also forms it is on the same plane the top of the prism correct so all those vectors are linearly dependent similarly we could also say the vectors here on this side do you understand so that way we can give many answers for this linearly dependent right for example linearly dependent vectors let me give you vectors here one set could be a b a c we can write a d right we could even add d c right all these vectors so we have to give a linearly dependent set of three you could write vectors like e f so this is one set for example which is linearly dependent vectors so they are coplanar now we can have a f now can you name me other vectors which are linearly dependent so they have to be in this plane so a f and then we can have e f we can have a b correct so they are in that plane a b that this set 
is the second set for three linearly dependent vectors. So they are in the same plane. Now if you have to write a set of three independent vectors, I should have put the word linearly independent. Let me write the word linearly independent vectors. It's kind of critical. So set of three linearly independent vectors, then we're trying to select vectors from different planes. So if I take AG as one of the vectors, for example, right? So AG is one of the vectors. And then if I take EH and AE, right? Then they are in different planes, correct? So they cannot form a linearly dependent. So these are called independent vectors, right? Similarly, I could have given you another set which is, for example, AB and AAG, for example. So just adding a diagonal which is not in that particular plane. So that way we'll get a set and AC, for example, right? Now these form independent vectors since they are not in the same plane, right? So that is kind of important consideration when we are considering dependent and independent vectors, right? Now if you have vectors in the same plane, they cannot span R3, right? They cannot span in R3. They can only span in this particular plane. So therefore we also say that dependent vectors cannot span or form bases for R3. But independent vectors, they can. Do you understand? So these are independent vectors. If I take AE, EF, and EH, right? So these are independent vectors and they can span any vector in R3, right? I hope you appreciate that part. Have a close look at this one. So independent vectors are kind of like this. Do you see this? This forms independent vectors. They are in three different planes, right? Similarly, you could have taken any of these, for example, these, right? These are independent vectors, correct? They can span in R3. You could take this, this, this combination, correct? And, and any other vector which is not in these planes, right? For example, this. So they could span any vector in R3 and they form a set of independent vectors. So that is, I think, gives you a good idea about what are independent vectors, linearly independent, and linearly dependent vectors when we are considering three vectors at the same time. Thank you.